are here in the Bahamas and I am now an Expedia Cruise Travel Agent, Air, Land and Sea. So if you ever need any help, subscribe, like, and give me a call. So this is the government building on Nassau. We're going down Bay Street that way towards Atlantis. So we are here at the Queen's Steps. A quick 10 minute walk from the port puts you in this tropical world. Limestone carved out of the wall. Check out that tree. I can't do both. I think this is it's growing right out of the wall. Yeah, it's great. This is a must hike when you're in Nassau. This is definitely a hidden treasure. We are climbing up. This was carved hand-carved steps. Not your first time, so I'm gonna say it like this. Oh, once is not enough. When you visit the Bahamas, once is not enough. Even twice, you don't see all of our stuff. Even Christopher Columbus and what you're looking at is not an act of nature. It took 600 slaves working 18 hours a day, 16 years to hand carve the shake down and out. It's 90 foot deep, 150 feet long, and 50 feet wide. Mainly Ghana, taking 600 women, men, and children, bringing them here and enslaving them and forcing them to hand carve the chicken out, taking everything to the top to build the fort. If you look at the forts, they look like old steam and roller ships. The reason being why, imagine, in the 1700s, there was nothing out there, and if you are passing by boat, and you saw those forts with those cannons on them, you would assume that this is sea and not land, an illusion the British used to protect their territory. Oh, now, in case of an attack, which in me in the Bahamas never got attacked. They missed us and ended up hitting Haiti, turning yeah. Haiti into a French territory. Now, in case of an attack, the governor and his family would go into the governor's mansion, coming through a tunnel that would bring them here to Portland Castle.